Right, Tubbers. We've, um, I've cut my pasta off. All I did is cut that in this pan. There's not a lot you can't do in a frying pan. I mean, ideally, you'd have a saucepan. But we haven't got a saucepan. So you might, might do what you got. And I, I, I might do with the old, uh, the old frying pan. So I've got these cherry tomatoes. That, that, they're on the vine. And that. I know it sounds a bit pretentious, but they're, they're always sweeter off the vine. Always. If they if once they're picked, uh, the they start the acidity starts coming out. Whereas if they're left on the vine, then it becomes um, sweet. So yeah, they they are beautiful. So not that I need the the sauce to be any more tomatoey it just adds a bit of texture a bit of something interesting a bit of bite to the dish do you know what i mean so all i did is cut the uh tortellini for and if you like meat in your pasta you you, you can get it stuffed with ham and all sorts so you don't have to have the vegetarian but obviously i'm vegetarian so i do so yeah so I've got spinach and ricotta sauce there. I cut them, depending on whether you like your pasta, um, um, what they call al dente, firm to the bite, or whether you like it a bit more well done. You're going to be cooking it four to six minutes, somewhere around about there. So, test down the top. This isn't rocket science cooking. I mean, because the sauce is already made, tortellini's already made. But this is making the best of a bad situation. I'm out on the road, and I can either eat crap, and it never seems to taste very nice anyway, or I can uh, make a bit of an effort. And you want this on a, a low flame if you can. It... Now, you see, that's gone out, you see. They're very difficult to control. You've either got to have a low flame or keep it moving. So, yeah, right, it, we'll just warm that through now. Doesn't take long at all. You don't want it on too high, let it start spitting out. You'll end up with the uh, tomato sauce spread around your cab. I'm sure you don't want that. But this is literally. Um, I didn't film cooking the pasta because of the, the, I'm recording this on my phone. So, but that's the whole thing will take from start to finish no more than five minutes. You know? But if you're at home, your pasta, what you tend to do is uh, cook that off to how you like it. Then you plunge it into cold water, refresh it. Uh, because if you leave pasta like that, it'll carry on cooking, which is why I stopped it at four minutes and let it do its thing. Um, but you'll, uh, if you quickly refresh it in icy cold water, then it'll stop the cooking process and you end up with, with the pasta how you want it. Because it'll carry on cooking if you leave it hot. Just a low heat, look. There'll be residual um, heat in the pasta, so it shouldn't take long at all. That's not very bad. I'm not a big fan of um, the sauces in the jars. When you make your own sauce, you won't go back to jarred, I promise you. Just, just find a nice recipe for a, a basic tomato sauce, and you can build on that. But I, I guarantee you, you won't go back. A lot of sugar and stuff in them, you know what I mean?
Now at this point, now it's bubbling and not away. Um, if you were Mr. Patterson, what you do is chuck it down, down there. You just let it, just, just let it fall on the floor, and and really let it, let it spread out on the bottom. So when you come to clean it up, um, it's gone everywhere. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Stevie Patterson's cooking time. Cap cooking. Yes, it wasn't very good. But he's got one of them uh, tall regular camping stoves where you've got the cylinder and then the, um, the stove bit on top. And they're, they're always going to fall over. They're like a wine glass, you know what I mean? Whereas these, th these are about £10, £15. And they just have the, the cylinder. I can't open it now. There you go, just have the gas cylinder in there, look. And it comes in a little case. Dead simple, you know? So turn that off now. And that is dinner time, ladies and gentlemen. All I want now is a little, little salad with it. Now normally what I'd do is a pinch of sea salt on that and a drizzle of olive oil and a couple of shavings of parmesan parmesan nice fresh parmesan cheese not this fake stuff real mm, fruity parmesan cheese lovely so yeah that's how i'd finish it and that's it that's my dinner tonight that's not too bad that's better than eating chips isn't it there you go then Catch you later, Toodles! <laughs>